And we are live. Um, welcome to this special of Totally Unscripted. So in our last episode, we had Mike Procopio um, talking, who's actually um, lead for engineering, talking about some of the updates for, for AppSheet. And one of those that we kind of touched upon but didn't really look at was the new Google Forms integration um, in the AppSheet. So as it happened, the following day, I was doing an internal tech talk. And um, I was talking about uh, uh, the, the forms integration with AppSheet, that session was recorded. Um, so we thought we'd share that out. So you'll see me and um, my uh, slightly potty mouthed line manager and head of workspace engineering, Steve Franks, just talking about this new integration and uh, what, what you can hopefully do with it in the future. So hope you enjoy this little special and look forward to seeing you all on our next episode. Thanks very much. Um, actually, have pushed quite a few updates. Um, so they, they announced quite a bit at Google Next, and those are starting to land through uh, the official channels. So um, the one that came out today, which I think is really interesting, is, um, let me share a screen, is the Google Forms integration. I think this is a really sweet integration into AppSheet. So um, it's coming out as a beta, but you, um, it's an open beta. So anyone can start using this forums integration straight away. Um, why I think this is useful and important is um, one of the issues with, with AppSheet when businesses started using it to automate their processes were if you had external third parties and they weren't AppSheet licensed, how do, how do they interact with your app? So with the Google Forms integration, you've basically got a first class data source, which it's Google Forms. You can pop, you know, create your, your data, expose that form, share the link, embed it into a site. So anyone can submit that form. And so now you've got another opportunity in terms of kicking off your, your data flow. There was previously an app sheet, a Google Forms, add-on that you could install, um, which kind of did push notifications in, into um, AppSheet. But that was different. That was more, you know, you, there was setup required and so on. So um, I, I don't think it it's as useful and as integrated as this. So on our test domain, if you're familiar-ish with AppSheet, this is the editor. And, and now we have this option, Google Forms um, data, data integration. So um, when you click this, it's just going to launch the picker. So you just pick your, your form. So with the form, I'm, I'm not actually pushing, I'm not linking that to a Google Sheet as a response. So it's actually using, it's, ah. you know, a deep integration into Google Forms, essentially. That's cool. Um, so you don't, it, um, I don't suppose you've tested it yet, but you can still export to a Google Sheet if you wanted to, and still link if you it to wanted an to, yeah. yeah. So um, I've added this form in here. Um, so response ID is the internal response ID within Google Forms. So this was one of the issues when you were doing kind of the workaround was an app sheet. You need this unique identifier. So with this integration, mm. it's automatically picked that up. Is that the um, ones that they're exposed in the API that you can see when you're running yes. after the game? I think, I think yeah. that's what they would pick out. Yeah. Um, so um, it, it's interesting. That I haven't set up this form to collect email addresses, um, but it's picked, again, these are internal um, data points that are, are in Google Forms. So we've got an email address and a timestamp. Um, I've not done a huge test in terms of different form fields, but um, you can see with this multiple choice, it is actually a multiple choice question. Um, I'd be interested so, to see what happens with like um, the scale ones and things like that. How does it come yeah. out as a value and stuff? So it's populated, populated, it's game pulled the data from the Google form. Um, within that form, 
I have the option of add other responses. So AppSheet has this option to allow other responses. So that's one of the things to for, for us to just to test and review is how do different data types in Google Forms actually come into AppSheet? So once you you configured your data source, you've got all the same things that you can do with your data source that you would do normally. You know you can set up um, you know different views for that. But the interesting one I think is in terms of automations. So um, in terms of this. Sorry, Martin, just another one. So it, it's not presenting the form in the app. It's just that the the form can be used as, a, as an external collection of data. Yes. The, an ex yeah. external to the app, but the data yeah. is seamlessly integrated into the back end yeah. of action. Then you can manipulate yeah. and do what you want with it. So a lot of the add-ons that were built for Google Forms, like email notification stuff, like the, the core yeah. stuff that everyone used and wanted to use, yeah. You basically can now just instead of writing app script, you could build it in app sheet yeah. and do the crap that you want to do out of it. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. So and the example on the product uh, launch page was take a Google reform, um, pass it through app sheet and then put it out to Google chat. Um, mm -hmm. so that's the really quick automations you can do. So in terms of so this is um an automation, so we're in terms of event type, we're selecting a form, so a form submission. Um, so there's a lot of scope, you know, and you could have multiple forms that you know coming into your same app if you wanted to. Similar sort of idea. There might be in terms of this automation, it could you know you there could be conditional um, properties that you put on it. So you know one of the form responses is specifying. X, there's a, a particular flow that it goes down. Um, in term, and, and then you, you have everything that you, you normally have as part of App Sheet in terms of what you want to do next. So, um, you know, things like sending email, as I mentioned, you could send something to a chat space. Um, this one I just set up as an email with the uh, embedded view. So I think this is, again, it's just, you know, the Embedded app view within Gmail, I think, is a really powerful feature for App Sheet. So you can imagine now you've got a Google Form as part of a process. You're collecting data. You might send that um, data, and it could be a slice of that data. So it could be just certain columns um, to 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 someone, and then they're going to have an app view embedded within the Gmail to you know, approve something or do something, which then could go back into AppSheet to do other automations. Um, so I think this is really good in terms of options for customers, um, particularly in Google Workspace, for using AppSheet. And it, uh, <laughs> I think it completely rewrites the, um, the code along that we do with Tim yeah. and I developed in terms of um, it was quite messy in terms of how that was configured. Um, the idea of taking an existing form and then just kind of massaging the data and process to make it work with AppSheet. Now yeah. we can just start with the Google form and yeah. um, you're, you're dancing all the way. I mean, like, it, for me, it is a game changer. Because, like, you forget and you put yourself into context that, like, I remember one thing I did years ago was I built a whole should we say a ticketing system using google mm. forms and, and google sheets in the back end and app script and doing stuff and it was a, it was producing and like it was it was basically running a call center every mm. bit of data collection was google forms and everyone would just fill the form in as you to take the calls it was crazy but you you forget how useful it is it sometimes feels because google have a way of making things look so simple that they don't look valuable like Google mm. Forms looks so simple because it's actually easy to use and people don't recognize the value. I think when people twig and understand this, because this is the first time I've really understood this sort of like I've looked at it like you have, but this is the first time I've looked and sort of understood this and gone, shit, yeah, that, that mm. all that mid configuration and manipulation of data in forms no longer is it about getting into a spreadsheet, getting everyone in the spreadsheet, doing some stuff, interesting stuff with it in the spreadsheet. It's about what business process mm. do I want to run off that data collection? Now, 
my head was always in the space that I needed to have an app sheet app with the data collection piece. Because, I mean, look, a lot of business mm. processes are about collecting some data, doing some shit with it, and putting it back to someone else and creating a process on the back of it. The, um, the uh, yeah, this this feels for me like the people who know how to, what data they want to collect, they're building the forms and they're doing that anyway. But the people with the additional skills to improve this business mm. process are capable of doing all sorts with AppSheet once they recognize it. Um, really good. I love it. I think we should definitely be leveraging it in the, the hackathon and mm. getting people's minds going a little bit. Because it, like you've done it before, you've used AppSheet in a way where it doesn't need a front end to just, it's just doing stuff in the back end, like an automation yeah. flow. I think we need to also make sure that, I, that yeah. quite lots of people like, it, it can be a back end, it can be a front end, it can be both together, it can be an app, but it could just be just a, a, a workflow automation tool.